what we've disproved is the main theory of the chemical imbalance, which involves serotonin, one of the brain chemicals. Um, there are others, but this was the main one and the one that has attracted the most research and attention. So what is depression? That's, that's a good question. And I would suggest that what this, what this research suggests that we should stop seeing it as a brain condition and take more notice of the fact that we know that what makes people vulnerable to depression um, increases your risk of depression very strongly is having adverse life events, is suffering from child abuse or divorce uh, or um, poverty and, and debt and loneliness. All these sorts of things substantially increase your risk of uh, getting depression. And they're all things that we could help address and, and help support people to, to sort out.